Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wanted to discuss some of the esoteric dimensions of the term Ramadan. The core literal meaning of the term Ramadan means transformation, modification. So, in order to understand this better, the word Ramada actually means when a stone turns color by being in the sun. They use this term Ramada. It's shown color. Anything under the sun will turn color in a way that it never goes back to its original color. And that is an effect that Ramadan has on a human soul when it goes through this ritual of fasting. And in a hadith of the Prophet, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi says that the month of Ramadan burns away our sins. So we want to modify ourselves and transform into this best person. How can we do this? By doing the rituals that we want. So something has to be burnt. Something has to be modified and something has to change in order for us to receive the complete benefit of this beautiful month. So now the question of course comes in, well how do I? You know sometimes we feel the Ramzan comes, the Ramzan goes by and we enter Ramzan with complete excitement and wishing everybody and being so excited and then by the end of Ramzan we see ourselves giving in our most happy moments and then we feel like we've gone back to our old lives and our old our old patterns and our old transformations so this series of talks are here to maybe perhaps with the will of Allah and with his guidance be able to experience the transformation and i don't want to say learn because sometimes learned knowledge can only be concepts which are just in our mind but we want to experience that change so these set of talks will be there for us in order to experience that transformation inshallah so continuing with the word ramadan ramadan here means a modification and transformation the way the the stone changes its color and is shown a different color another meaning for the word ramadan meaning entailing washing when the rain washes the dirt in the same way rain washes away dirt we want to wash away our soul cleanse it from the contamination in order to understand this well <clears throat> this concept we repeat this concept in the daily dua of ramadan that we recite after every salah and the dua is it's called dua of Allahumma adkhil ala ahl al-qubur as-suroor If you look at this dua, in the entire dua, we're constantly asking for change. Change for people, transformation for people, changing their, their hal, their state to a better hal. Um, for example, Allahumma ashbah kul jaih Oh Allah, please do satisfy all hungry ones. Allahumma faraj an kul makroob Oh Allah, please do relieve all the aggrieved ones. Allahumma fukka kul asir Oh Allah, please do release all prisoners. So you see, they're all changes. We're asking for transformation, modification and changes. And the best of all is, Allahumma ghayra suwa halina bi husni halik. Oh Allah, change our ill manners through your excellent manners. So here, the dua is also in unity with what we were just saying, that Allah change our hal we want to be a manifestation of your divine attributes we are khalifatullah we are the representatives of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we have that potential those attributes that allah we share those beautiful we are manifestation of god's attributes because we are representative of him we are khalifatullah so may this month be a month in which we truly change bad attributes to good ones ramzan is all about transformation it's all about being able to bring that show that new color bring out that new transformation within our souls when we actually commemorate eid we actually commemorate it with that sense saying that i don't remember who i was on the first of ramadan here is a person who is completely transformed inshallah so with the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance and the beautiful duas and invocations of the prophet um i invite each one of us 
to raise our hands and to sincerely pray to Allah because invocations and dua are the best gift given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Baqarah, وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ And when my servant asks me, tell them I am close. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةِ دَعِي إِذَا دَعَان That I am close to the caller who calls upon me. So the conditions of dua is sincere calling. So with the sincere calling, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this beautiful blessed night of Ramadan. اللهم غير سوء حالنا بحسن حالك O oh Allah, change our ill manners through your excellent manners. Make us be the manifestations of your divine attributes and make this Ramzan be all about transformation. In the next audio, I will be sharing with you few more esoteric dimensions of Ramadan and Sayyam and discussing with you practical applications on how we can pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we can focus on this true transformation through our fast.